times I tried to get through that. I know it wasn't perfect. I wanted to try and make it perfect. But I was up until four in the morning trying that last night. I'm not doing that again tonight. It's still a great song. And I think that was the best out of all the times I've tried it. So <laughs> deal with it. <laughs> you know me, none of my shit's perfect anyway. Ooh, pardon my language. If it was perfect, I don't like to do covers perfectly anyway. And for as quick as I learn them, if they were perfect, I'd be a virtuoso. And I'm not. So, <laughs> I just have a good memory. Usually. I can figure out songs, basically. I mean, if I heard a song, and if I can hear that song playing in my head, especially on bass, I can learn it in my head. So, but guitar's a little different for me. Guitar, I have to use my ears. Bass, I don't. Bass, I use all my feel. It's, I can just feel when the things are times to change. I can feel where the roots are supposed to be. I can feel where the, you know, embellishment should be. And in, on a lot of songs, I embellish a lot. But it's a good embellishment. <clears throat> My ex-bandmates used to be a little bit jealous of me because I would learn songs that they took weeks to learn. And I would learn them. I'd be at practice, and my guitar player's name was Iggy. He got so pissed off. He's like, did you, did you practice, Kev? And I told him honestly, I said, look, I could very well lie to you and say yes, but I'd be lying. No, I did not practice. Do you have the song with you? So he puts it on, and with about 30 seconds into the playing of the song, I played it like I had wrote it. <laughs> he got so furious, he yelled at me. He said, it took me three weeks to learn that song, and you got it in like 30 seconds. Shortly after that, I was kicked out of the band. And oddly enough, they kicked me out of the band because they said I refused to practice. <laughs> Is that a joke or what? <laughs> anyway, I hope that got, uh, that rendition of that song, it was, I, I learned it from the uh, Nirvana Unplugged version. Yeah, I listened to it and I actually saw the video and I, I could see the guitar player how he was playing it. So that, was, that made it a little bit easier, but... <clears throat> There was no way. At first, I tried to sing it like Kurt Cobain. No. <laughs> they put the ship me off to Creedmoor before I could do that. All right, folks. You know me. I have to make my funny comments. 
You folks have a good night. I seriously doubt I'm going to do another one tonight because with the amount of time I spent on this and I usually pride myself on from start to finish anywhere from 30, 40 minutes at the very most an hour. This has been two days. <laughs> so I'm disappointed in myself. Anyway, you folks have a great night and uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow. I'm thinking because I heard it today. And it's another high-pitched voice. I don't know if I'll be able to do it, but I'm thinking of covering 30 Days in the Hole. I'm also thinking of covering another Alice in Chains song, uh, Down in the Hole, as a matter of fact. But that might be difficult. Anyway, you folks have a great night. And I will see you later. Bye.